friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa here and today I have a layout for you for the Tracy Reed Designs creative team. We are highlighting the Anywhere But Here collection for oldies but goodies in April and so I thought I would use this collection to document our day in Raleigh and specifically our time at the NC Museum of Art. And so I've got one photo printed full page and four smaller photos that are uh, cut to fit the slides in the Anywhere But Here collection. Uh, but I printed them using pattern papers from the collection. And so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, create sort of a tip-in. And I brought in just a regular old transparency. This one is from American Crafts. Uh, you can also get them from Blick Art Materials. And you can get them from a company called Graphics, G-R-A-F-I-X. And so I've cut it down to fit. I'm going to have to cut it again to accommodate the, the punched holes. But I wanted to leave it full size first so that I could gauge how much space I needed for the alphabets. Now, the, the alphabets, the letters that I'm using, I believe are older Ali Edwards chipboard pieces. And... I chose them, one, because they sort of blend with the greens and teals in this collection. And they also kind of sit, they're going to sit pretty bold on top of the transparency. And I wanted to uh, just sort of highlight where we are. It's So it's sort of the title, uh, but not restrict the photo or not uh, obscure <laughs> the photo too much and I also kind of wanted it just to feel a little bit edgy I noticed after I printed out the photo that I had printed it at an angle somewhat um, or I had taken the photo at an angle somewhat and so I wanted to play that up and decided to adhere the letters at that same angle. And so you can see the N and the M I'm following up with the line in the mirror. What this is, is an entrance into um, the West Building at the Museum of Art. And the entrance is all mirror <laughs> and so I looked up and saw the mirror on the ceiling and I was like hey everybody look up it's a cool photo up there you know because normally we take pictures of our shoes and our feet but here we are in the mirror on the ceiling and I just thought that was a cool capture and this is a cool way to present that in the book so for the binding here I used, there's a Traveler's Notebook signature that Tracy designed that has this green scallop. And so I lifted that scallop from the Traveler's Notebook signature and used that to cover the adhesive and the washi tape on the inside that holds this all together. Uh, so then I also... Uh, brought in these Studio Calico alphabets to add OF, to add the word of, to uh, in between the M and the A, so that the title reads NCM of A. <laughs> so then I also planned for a little sack of uh, labels for journaling and some embellishments here on this inside edge of the tip in. And so I'm just uh, stacking some of the word strips, the signs, the labels are laid down vertically 
to uh, not interfere with the photo or not interfere too much with us because of course I still wanted us to be the focal point here on this on this image um, or on this side of the layout so I also am placing the embellishments strategically so they're not blocking our faces and then I'll go ahead and add my journaling here I'm just using a lighter gray uh, jelly roll pen I love these uh, I'm writing on matte photo paper and they dry really well so it just makes it easier to add the journaling there and I think other than trimming off the the space for the um, punched holes I think I'm done with that side so my idea here uh, first off I've backed the right hand side of the layout with this yellow pattern paper and I added two of the paint elements in the kit and then my idea with the slide covers is to have them flip up so that there's two layers of interactivity with this layout the tip in and also flipping up the slides but it was also strategic because the photos themselves show different areas of the museum that captured my eye and but then when you put the slide over top of them parts of the images get a little bit obscured like the the first one is um a sculpture of a human and He's holding his knees and he's literally mounted on the ceiling looking down. And it's an interesting think piece, what I call a think piece. Um, because you you study and observe that the human form in this strange location where physically we cannot actually be. But at any rate, with the slide over top of that, it obscures part of his head. <laughs> so this way, with the flip-ups, you can see the whole image, but you still get the feeling of the slides. And what I particularly wanted were the pops of color from the pattern papers, um, just to make this layout a little bit more interesting because the full page photo is all gray <laughs> it's it's interesting to have walls and ceiling of made of mirrors when the only thing that it's reflecting is the gray concrete <laughs> again a, a think piece um but it did make the layout feel a bit gray and so the right hand side is a study in contrast of that to say this side is more subtle here and this side on the right is more colorful and so I think that turned out really nicely I'm gonna go ahead and uh, place that in the album for you and let you get more detailed look at it thanks so much for watching I will have links down below for this collection and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.